would you say that the Indian farmers are doing the right thing in protesting? Absolutely. This is a very important protest. And it's amazing that they've been able to keep it up in the face of repression, violence, uh, and all sorts of uh, media attacks and so on. They're staying there. And uh, they're fighting for the rights, not only of the farming community, but for India to be a functioning society, caring about the rights and the welfare of its citizens. Indian government today is telling Indian farmers that open up your agriculture, let the big businesses come in, let the corporates come in, and they will bring in investment, they will bring in competition, they will bring in prosperity, they will bring in efficiency. What would you tell Indian farmers? I would suggest that they simply look at the facts. There was recently a, a study by the highly reputable Rand Corporation, quasi-governmental, highly regarded corporation, addressing your question. Uh, they asked, they tried to estimate how much wealth had been transferred in the past 40 years from the middle class and the working class, lower 90% in income, how much had been transferred in the last 40 years from them to the super rich. And when you look at the super rich, it's a fraction of 1%. Uh, their estimate was $47 trillion uh, in 40 years, which is a severe underestimate, as I'm sure they know. The International Monetary Fund and others have given rough estimates of the scale of the robbery. It's roughly maybe another 30, 40 trillion dollars. You, you know, in India right now, the government uh, calls those who are protesting, the farmers who are protesting, being influenced by foreign hand. Uh, isn't it funny, Professor, that when it comes to protest movements, foreign hand is such a dirty word. But when it comes to business and politics, foreign investment is such a welcoming word. Foreign investment is wonderful. Foreign tyrannies, tyrannies. Remember, a corporation is a tyrannical structure. If you want foreign tyrannies to own your resources, to own your country, to determine your country's future, then welcome foreign investment. Uh, I would love to hear your uh, message of, of message to the peasants uh, or the farmers in India who are fighting. They should be extremely proud of what they're doing. They're doing the right thing with courage, with integrity, for the benefit of their own families, the farmers of India, the people of India, the entire world who needs this model of struggle to carry out the same kinds of actions in their own circumstances, which share a lot with the circumstances of the farmers of India. Uh, so be proud of what you're doing. Keep to it. It's a beacon of light for the world in dark times. You being in the, in the forefront of creating a, an alternate world, of giving, as you said, of challenging doctrines. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's fantastic to hear these encouraging words from you. Well, thank you. What's encouraging is the actions of the farmers. That's encouraging. <laughs> yes. To receive instant updates on all videos from The Wire, click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon. Pay to support independent journalism. Click the link in the description and choose the amount you want to pay.